NFL on EA Sports. And the focus is on Jacoby Myers. He's more than happy with last week's numbers, going well over 100 yards and scoring twice. It's the Raiders and the Vikings, and it's all up next. Now Green, off play action. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Call that a very strong gain. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. So the completion good for seven there. And yeah, that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now this throw caught left side. And yeah, he has a big game. Now this throw caught left side. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 23 yards to pick up there. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Makai Blackman's got it. And the Vikings are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Looks like a second empty possession to start the game, and certainly not the way you want to start when you're coming off of a loss last week. Every team talks about starting fast. They're hoping on their next possession, it can be a delayed fast start and get them going. Oh, he faked it with a jink. Now he's got some room. And he is going to pick up the Vikings first down, and they come up with a big one there to keep the drive. Ready. Operating from the gun. Dent firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Here we go, here so after we the go. incompletion on first, now second and ten. Tempo, 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 tempo. Now a handoff up the middle. Nichols. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A great effort there. Is out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense. Gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Going to let one fly for Robinson. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. I think he thought he had his first read open on that one, but they were obviously ready for that throw, and that's just a lack of experience showing. Young quarterback stared his man down the whole way, and they were more than happy to sit on that route and bring home the INT. And the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. Happy to sit on that route and bring home the INT. And the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. And hold on here, because on that porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who is shaking up. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Off the play fake. Dent. 
Able to find the open man. That's complete. That is in 10. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They and he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as he'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. So out come the Raiders. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second. Jacobs going to try the middle. And a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 41. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. D.J. Wadham from his outside line. Back of a lead. They feel like they can take a few more chances and be even more aggressive. And it's been paying off. Second quarter from Vegas, the homestanding Raiders with a football here. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Off play action. Green under pressure, and they got to him again. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. X. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Be touchdown! Tyler Scott, his first touchdown on the year. And the Raiders are back within a score. Coaches must rest play. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And he is out of bounds inside. Gun, he'll hand this off. And this time he is in. Yes. A great effort there. On his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Vikings will extend their lead in the Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. A little pitch and catch to the tight end. Knox. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route. Letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make some. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Makai Blackman's got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 30 now. Record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's the guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their okay, success great. here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. On first down, Din. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Merrig. And the Raiders are going to take over. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. 
And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. In. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage. And this is caught. Touchdown. And a six-yard game gets them right around the 43. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Looking to throw on second down. Dent completes it to Douglas. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him eight protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 39-yard line. Off the play fake. Dent. Wide open receiver complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. That has to feel like a very unsatisfying drive, right? You move the ball all that way, and then you can't convert on third down. But it was satisfying up until that point. Almost like a great movie, and then the film cuts out before the big ending. Here we go on fourth down. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Minnesota. Ty Chandler, a five yard to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. There's a quarterback who's learned his lesson. He's thrown a few interceptions so far. That time he said, I'm making sure nobody catches this one. Now here's Green to throw on third down. And this is what here? Incomplete, they say. It looked like it was intercepted, but he apparently did not get the two feet down in bounds. Here's A.J. Cole. Complete, they say. It looked like it was intercepted, but he apparently did not get the two feet down in bounds. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Here's Allen. Now a hit and a loose football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Tackle and able to work this down near the 23. So five yards here, five on the play. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Green on third down. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And the Vikings are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from Let's that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Play action. Dent. Looking left sideline. It's complete. Touchdown, Vikings. 25 yards for the tie. And this offense on third down today, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This time they face a third and two. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. We've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass. Middle taken in. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 39. And quickly, they get to the line. They go play action here on first down. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Back 
back to throw again. And that's going to be caught for a Raider time. Short. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is indeed good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kick. His throw incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long. And that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And it's caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Jacoby Myers. No matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory. Charles, for this losing side, their heads are hanging as they walk off the field today. And really, I mean, we know why those three turnovers by that offense, that's ultimately what doomed them. And this is what coaches preach all the time. To